Put that on that made that ass cut, she don't need no clothes High fashion, like go, yeah G-Wagon, or the Rover I put some ice on you cause you got a cold I know I gotta keep my shorty on, go, go Got that ass to the floor, floor yeah. ah, whoa. You ain't gotta deal with none of these niggas no more Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in Welcome back to my channel This is B. Allen um, If you're new here Welcome, welcome if you're returning, thanks for returning. Thanks for keeping up with me. Um, it is June the 12th, Saturday. I keep wanting to say Friday. Saturday. This is a weekend vlog. I apologize. I'm starting late. I already did my hair. I'm getting ready to go to this um, birthday party slash event. Um, it's a themed party. I love theme parties. Um, for a rap artist. But, um... Really, all I did today was run around, went to the market, slept, got up, went to the store, slept. Like, literally just been sleeping in and out. Um, And now I'm getting ready for the night. Late, but it's after 10, just trying to rush because I don't like rushing to an event. Especially when I know it's going to be insane. So, I'm going to record a little there, probably not a lot. But I'm going to take you all with me. Um, I'm going to show you my finished look once I'm done. Again, it is a theme party. So it's kind of giving me Halloween-ish, but whatever. I like theme parties, but I just sometimes feel like they should be in October. But whatever. But um, it's for his birthday, the artist's birthday. Um, so yeah, this is a new vlog for the weekend and more to come. I'll check in with you all later. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so don't mind me, but I'm still in bed. <sighs> It is now, oh, excuse me. It is now, ooh, this lash glue. It is now Sunday morning, the next day, and look at this. You see this? This is hair glue. Like, I sweated my hair glue. I don't, I'm scared to take this thing off my head because my wig is probably hanging off. But it's Sunday, and last night was cute. Um, it was a good look. I'll insert clips. Well, I will have inserted clips. Oh, me. oh my gosh. Ugh. But it was cute. I literally was there for maybe an hour. I'm just not. I don't know. I'm getting to the age where I like to go out, but I also like my bed. So, <laughs> I mixed the two. Half and half. I'll show my face, two-step for a second, grab a drink, and leave. But it was cute. It, it was crowded. Um, I was surprised. A lot of people were dressed in theme, but then a lot of people weren't. And I was just like, what's the point, y'all? What's the point? But... Uh, hmm. Sorry, y'all. Oh, my gosh. But it was cool. So, today, I need to get up. I was supposed to clean up yesterday. Still didn't clean up yesterday. So, but I probably won't clean up until later because I'm supposed to be meeting um, one of my boos, my homegirls, um, co-worker turned homegirl. <laughs> We're supposed to be walking. Um, Stone Mountain. So if you're in Georgia, you know about Stone Mountain. So we're trying to get healthy, trying to get physical. She does it. I don't do it. I don't do any exercises. But I need to start. So I told her I would start going with her every Sunday. Um, because my new work schedule, I work Saturday mornings. So, and we wanted to do it early. But today we're not going until like 2.30. So... 
excuse me. I need to get up. I need to eat. I need to take a shower and just get ready for that. Because I honestly will look up and I will be in bed until tonight. Like this evening. Like the way I feel. I'm exhausted. So <clears throat> I'm going to make myself get up. And you know. Get my day started. Um, try going to church this morning. Virtually. Virtual church. But. I kept dozing in and off, so in and out, in and off. Um, and plus, it was about graduates, so I really wasn't like, oh, I need to watch this. So I just turned over and went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I'll try to squeeze in like 10 more minutes of sleep because I'm really tired right now. So I'm going to try to squeeze in like 10 more minutes of sleep, get up, eat, take a shower, get ready. And then come back in here and clean up and relax and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Yeah, my my wig is definitely lifted. Oh, my gosh. This is not on my head. Great. This is not on my head. I need to glue this back down. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, that's another thing I use got to be glued. I didn't use actual lace glue. I just used got to be spray. Because I was like, oh, I don't need it really to stay for a long time. But now I'm like... I need it to stay at least till tomorrow. Ew, this is so ugly. Let me cover this. T I need to wash my sheets again. But um, I wanted it to last at least until tomorrow because I'm supposed to be going to the game. The Hawks game. And I, I wanted to wear this hair. But we shall see. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and you'll be with me the rest of the day. Oh, by the way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying, y'all. Let's get to it. Let's let's get it together. Let's let's do it. Let's make this pop. Let's make it work. So yeah. So I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog and more to come. Check in with y'all later. Bye. Time for Stone Mountain. Pray for me. Pray I don't <laughs> die. This is something new. I've been in Georgia ten years. I ain't never been to Stone Mountain. So we shall see. Got my water, my belt's on. Let's get it. I look like a I know, I know, I know, I know that you're right drunk. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what you sweat. want out of this club. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, oh, it's Made it to the top and now back to the bottom. Pray I don't fall. My feet hurt so bad. Oh my god. Yeah. Listen to the baby in the background. See you at the bottom. Pray for me. If you can't tell, that was a workout. Okay? Let me tell you. I went through two water bottles. Sweating like I'm in mother Africa. It is so hot, but I feel so good. Like that was so needed. Definitely be doing this weekly. I am so full of sweat. I hate that I have to sit in my car like this and drive home. Look at this. Like, look at this. Ugh. Like it was dripping from my body. But I feel great. Me and my me and Kaylin, my old co-worker. We said we're gonna make this. We're gonna keep doing this. Oh, my wig is probably off underneath for this. But, baby, we're not talking about that. But, yeah, to check in with y'all. Tell y'all how my workout went. Overdue, but more to come. Check in with y'all later. At this point, you know what? You know what? Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. From exercising. From being outside. And I forgot to put sunscreen on. Bruh, 
of all the things to get a tan of. A sports bra? A sports bra. A sports bra. This is so ugly. I don't... Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just about to take a shower and wash my face and figure out if this wig needs to come out right now or what. Ooh. Bro okay. My wig is shedding. But... Uh, what in the world? I'm done. I just need to rejuvenate on this Sunday because I'm pissed. I just, I'm over it. I look a mess, don't judge me. But let me tell y'all how I almost fell on the mountain. My hair is giving me Orphan Annie. Like it's giving looks, okay? It's giving, <laughs> it's giving third grade, but Y'all, like, I was literally, like, I teared up. I just kept thinking, like, oh, my gosh, I'm about to fall on this mountain. Like, I'm about to, to die. And I didn't even tell my mother that I was climbing the mountain, so she won't even know how I died. Like, yeah, I just kept thinking about that. Like, I was clawing the mountain. I messed my nail up, trying not to fall down the mountain. My homegirl said I was giving Scar from Lion King. Like, how he was clawing trying not to fall off the ledge. That's how I was on that mountain. Like I just could not, I could not get a grasp on the mountain, like to pull me up. I was like, what the world? Like, it's funny now, but I was really scared. Like I was really like, I'm about to die on this mountain. Like my first day here, I'm getting ready to bust my tail. Like it is what it is, crazy. I need to put some lipstick on, reapply. But let me tell you how being nice gets you a long way. Parking was $20, but the sign outside still said 10. He was change, he was changing the sign. And literally, I was like, oh, the sign says. He was like, you know what? Because you're nice. He was like, I'll give it to you for 10. Period. Being nice gets you a long way. Happy vlog. It is Monday. So weekend vlog continued. This is the last day. Um, headed to the arena for the Hawks game. Woo woo playoff game versus the 76ers. Um, I'm late, of course, but I'm getting ready to walk there. So more footage on the way. Stay tuned. Running late as usual. Hey. Turn
got back in from the game. It was, I had a ball. I had a ball. Like, so tell me why I get there. And I got a cheap ticket because I was going by myself and it was last minute. So I got me a cheap ticket. It's like, um, they offer like standing room. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll stand because I was going late anyway. So I wasn't really pressed. So while I'm standing, it's like, of course, hella people that stand and not watching the game. So I'm standing, minding my business. And this black guy was like, who was next to me? It was like a group of black guys. And he was like, one of them was like, you by yourself? And I was like, um, yeah. And he was like, you want to go sit down in my seat? So I was like, huh? And he's like, you want to go sit down in my seat? So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, what's wrong with your seat? Because I'm like, why aren't you sitting in your seat? So he was like, oh, nothing is wrong with it. And he was next to three of his homeboys. So apparently they got their tickets separately and they didn't pay attention to where each other was sitting when they got the tickets. You know, like when you buy tickets for with someone and you don't buy them together, but you say, okay, such and such, I'm sitting here. Make sure you get your ticket here. They apparently got their tickets far away from each other. So he was like, yeah, we're not sitting together. So we're just going to chill up here and drink and chill, you know, to, to be together because we came together. So I'm like, okay. So he sends me his, he asked for my number to send um, me his ticket. So I'm like, okay. Because at first I was like, how am I going to get down there? Because I'm like, mm, this sounds janky. Black people always got to think something janky. But he was like, here. So he sent me his ticket. Go to the front where the, the um, hostess was, whatever her name is. I don't know what they are called. Cedars, where they were. And she showed me where my seat was. Bomb ass seat. Like, it wasn't, no, it wasn't floor. And it wasn't behind the floor. But it was like section one. So I'm like, okay, I, I feel like I'm close. I'm real close. So end up sitting between a black guy and his friends and then an older white guy. He was like, he, he's late forties maybe. And his friend, and they both were from Philly. No, I'm sorry. The black guy wasn't from Philly. No, the black guy was from Philly. He lives here. The white guy is from Philly. He lives in Philly. So, you know, we're talking smack. They both talking to me. But the white guy thinks that I'm with the black guy, of course. Because I'm by myself. I'm a female and it's the black man. So he assumes that me and the black man came together. So we all talking as a group or, you know, like saying little side stuff separately. But it's never like hitting on each other. The black guy made a few passes at me, but I really wasn't feeling him. He was he was cool. He was a handsome black, older guy. But just certain things he was doing was kind of turning me off. Like, So the white guy, why Swag Surf came on? And the actual guys who sang Swag Surf, they was at the game. So, you know, they passed in the mic to sing it. The white guy was like, am I supposed to know this song? Like, who, who are these people? <laughs> he was like, did this song just come out? And I was like, no. I said, this is from like 2009. And he was like, um, oh, I never heard of this. I never heard of this. And I was like, yeah. I was like, it's old. You know, like trying to make it because it's old and not because he's white. Like, you're not going to know it because you're a white man. But I was like, yeah, it's pretty old. You wouldn't know it. He was like, oh, okay. So, we kicking it cool. He's drinking, probably drunk, but tipsy. So, the game is basically over. So, we're leaving. Everybody's leaving out. So, the white man looks at me like I'm about to go with the black man. And I go the opposite way. And he was like, you're not following your friend? And I was like, oh, no, we're not together. Like, I just came to the game by myself. And he was like, you mean to tell me I was sitting over there trying not to flirt? And I could have been talking to you. That's why I called you my girlfriend. Because he kept calling me his girlfriend, like, on the low. But he, was, he wasn't he was saying it loud enough for the black guy to hear it. So he kept telling his white friend next to him, who was fine as fuck, okay? That white man was fine. He kept telling him, like, this is my girlfriend, this is my girlfriend. But he wasn't saying it loud enough for the black guy to hear it, probably because he thought we were together. As soon as he found out we weren't together, he was like, oh, my gosh. Well, you leaving with me. And I was like, um, no, I'm going home. He was like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm going home. He was like, you're not going to come with me? I was like, no. I was like, first off, I don't go with strangers. 
And second off, I was like, I really don't feel like hanging out. It's like getting late and I have to work. So he asked where I work, what I do, whatever. And so I was like, so when are you leaving? And he was like, tomorrow evening. So I was like, well, I get off at 4.30. We can, you know, chill then. He was like, okay. Pass me his phone, get his number. Yeah. Because 2021 is all about Elevate. Y'all Negroes ain't doing right. Okay. So at this point, black, white, Chinese, Hispanic, I don't discriminate. Okay. We are past that point. Martin Luther King walked so we could run. Okay. I don't care what your color is as long as you treat me good, okay? So we're gonna see how this turns out. He's a nice older man. Even if it doesn't turn out, I had a ball anyway. Like, had a ball with all of the all the guys, basically, because it was all men. But I had a ball with all the guys. Um, I'm mad I didn't get a picture until I was leaving out and I had to ask an attendant to take it and they look like shit. Of course they do. But overall, I had a good time. And I enjoyed my Monday fun day. It's not Sunday fun day, Monday fun day. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth the money. Positive vibes. This is why I always am friendly to people. This is why I always laugh and joke with people. Because you never know who's watching you. You never know who will look out for you. Strangers look out for you more than a friend would. Like, and I'm learning that. I've learned it in all my years. And I'm sticking to that. Like, tonight... Full of strangers. The whole night was full of strangers that looked out for me and was really cool. Probably also because I'm not ugly. That helps too. Like being an attractive female. Of course, a male is going to like try their, their way with you. You know, like to, to, to look out for you probably because they're trying to talk to you. So I don't put it past them. But I am grateful that I'm not ugly because it works. Clearly it worked. Just like parking. Parking was $20. When I pulled up, I was like, oh, is it 10? I saw 20, but I just say, is it 10? And he was like, don't tell nobody. I'll let you, I'll let you in for 10. We're done with the $10 parking over. I'll let you go for 10. Thank you. That's all it takes. A smile, genuine niceness. It gets you far. Like just being genuine and nice to people. Like it works. It works for me. It's been working for me. And I will always be nice to people. You never know. You never know. You should be nice regardless, but still, you just never know. So, on that note, I'm taking my tail to bed because I have to get up in the morning. And this was a great closeout of a weekend. The Hawks won. We're moving forward in the playoffs. Now, we're going to Philly for away games. And I'm glad I got this game in before it gets intense. So, yeah. So, I'll check back with you all later. Um, this is probably the last day of this vlog. So, thank you for tuning in. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Be Allen. And I'll check back with you all later.